Hi, I'm Brandon and this is Makita and we're from Team 3932, the Dirty Mechanics. And we're here to talk to you today about how to build a VEX Pro 3 SIM ball shifter with West Coast Drive 3rd Stage. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is gather all your parts. Now when you order your kit, it should come with all the parts. You can check if you have all the parts by going on the VEX website and checking off to make sure you have everything. But um, yeah, once you assemble everything, you have to get a nice clear space like we do here to assemble your gearbox so that you don't lose any parts. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, so the first step to assembling your gearbox is to assemble the back shifter housing. Um, as we see here, Makita is assembling that piece right now. This is your back shifter housing. Um, along with that, you're going to need four standoffs, which are these components right here. Um, you're gonna have two shorts and two long ones. Um, those are gonna be used later for um, mounting your encoder and your pneumatic shifter. Um, along with those, you're going to need the four screws that hold them in, these. And you're going to need four bolts. Um, they are 1032 by one half inch long screws. Those are gonna be used later to hold your SIM motors on. Now, it, it's important to note that you get to choose how many SIMs you're putting onto your gearbox. So you can have anywhere from two to three. We're assembling today with just two. You can choose to do three if you'd like. Um, every SIM is going to require two bolts. So if you're doing three, you're gonna need six bolts, two, four bolts. It's important to note that um, these bolts here, you're gonna to need to tighten very well because once you assemble your gearbox, if those become loose at any time, in order to retighten them, you're going to need to disassemble mostly all of the gearbox. So you're gonna to try, you're gonna to want to avoid that at all costs. So make sure those bolts are in there nice and tight. All right, so Makita right now is assembling, is putting on the bolts that are gonna hold on our SIM motors later. And although not mentioned in the official instructions, he's putting on nuts onto the bolts because as you're moving around your gearbox to assemble it, those bolts are gonna to try to slide out. So we're using nuts to hold them in place while we're assembling. All right, so if you wanna pause the video now and assemble this, you can do so. And that is the first step to assembling your gearbox. All right, so the next step in uh, assembling your gearbox is to assemble all the gears inside of the gearbox. Um, so what you're gonna need are your pre-assembled shifter, your uh, one big gear and one small gear. Now, the number of teeth on these gears is going to depend on what gear ratio you ordered. So just if, if yours don't look exactly like this, don't worry. All right, so next we're going to be um, attaching the encoder gear to the back of our gearbox. And to do so, you need to apply a lot of force to get that gear in there. So what we do is we're going to use a nut driver and a mallet to get in there. So as Makita holds it, I'm just going to tap it. All right. So you can choose how you want to get that on there. That's how we do it. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is put a bearing onto that little shaft right there. And then we're going to be putting a, this tiny little C-clip on there. So now to put that on there, we recommend you use a pair of needle nose pliers. And what you're going to do is, right, you're going to take your C-clip, rest it on there like that. Then you're gonna take your pair of needle nose, squeeze it from both ends, like that. That's gonna t it might take a few tries, but as long as you get that on there, it's gonna click on there and you'll be fine. So next we are going to attach the pneumatic system to our um, gearbox. And so what we did before taking was we assembled the bracket onto the pancake. Um, be sure to keep in mind that here are your two pneumatic intakes. So you're going to want to just plan ahead where, where you're going to want your um, pneumatic tube coming in and out. So just keep that in mind. So now you're going to attach this assembly to your gearbox.
All right, so it's important to note that when tightening those two bolts, you're not gonna want to do both of them tightened all the way at the same time. You're gonna want to slowly tighten one about halfway, go to the other one, do the same thing with that. Go back to your first one, tighten it all the way, then go back to your second one and then tighten it all the way. Um, if you tighten one all the way first, it's not gonna fit as well. At this point in the assembly process, you would mount your encoder right here to these two brackets. However, many teams use different encoders, so we're not gonna show you how to do that. Um, it's a very simple process. It's explained very well in the instructions. You simply put it onto a bracket similar to you did, as you did with the pneumatic shifter, and you just attach it right here. All right, so at this point in the process, we're going to now mount our SIM motors. Um, the first thing you need to do is get your SIM and a key. What you're going to do is you're going to find the slot on the SIM motor, insert your key like that, get your gear, mount it on here. You're going to want, it's going to be a little tough to get through with the key, but you're going to want it on there all the way. Now you're going to take off two of the nuts that we placed on in the beginning of this video. Like that. And you're going to slowly put it in. Now, it's key to note that um, there's four holes you can put the bolts in on the sim motor. However, two of them are shallow and two of them are deep. We're gonna be putting our bolts into the deep holes. And just like with the coupler, you do not tighten one of them all the way and then the other one all the way, the motor just won't fit that way. You're gonna slowly put one in about halfway, same with the other one, and then go back and forth until they're all the way tightened. And you're gonna wanna make sure these bolts are tightened in very tightly. These are very key components to the gearbox. All right, so now what you would do is mount your second SIM motor here. However, we're gonna leave that up to you guys. It's pretty simple, just the exact same thing as we did with this one. All right, so this is we're almost at the end here. Now we're going to be assembling the third stage of our gearbox. Um, there's two components to this. There's gonna be the small gear on the shaft coming out of your gearbox and the shaft that's going to be going into your drive system. Um, that part is pretty simple to create. Now the hardest part is probably putting this clip onto the shaft. Now like we said earlier, we usually take a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and kind of just kind of squeeze it on there. Um, it's gonna take a few tries, but you, know, it's, you have to do what you gotta do. A few moments later. Okay, so now you're going to put in the last stage of your gearbox. Now, there are three options for you to plug this into. Um, this is, where you plug it into is dependent on how you're mounting your gearbox to your robot. Um, you may want to have it in the center so that it's always, so you're, each side is gonna be the same. Um, you might want to have your gearbox slightly angled at a bit, so you might want to put it at the bottom or the top. That's all um, dependent on how you mount it to your robot. Um, now the last part, the last step is mounting your, the uh, plate to the top of this. Um, you're going to require uh, four bolts, one plate, and two spacers. And like I said earlier, with the different ways you can mount this gear, there's also different ways you can mount that plate. It's all dependent on how you put that last gear on there. All right guys, so we're almost done with our gearbox here. The last step is to mount our outer plate. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that plate, put it on like so, and then mount your bolts in. Now, these bolts, as you can see, are way too long for what you need, um, but we're just using this as a placeholder. Um, your bolt size is gonna de uh, be dependent on how you're mounting it to the robot. Um, you might need longer bolts depending on what you're doing. So we're just gonna put these here as placeholders. All right, so round of applause for you guys. You guys just built a gearbox.